I'm Dr. Aaron MacArthur. I'm a chiropractic neurologist. I have a fellowship in vestibular rehabilitation and also a fellowship in brain injury and concussion rehabilitation. And so because of that, uh, I got into hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Uh, I wasn't looking for it. I didn't know that what it really did. And I think that's where we're seeing a lot of our medical research and sciences that we're figuring out um, how impactful this is for people and their health care. So as a, as a functional neurologist in treating all these neurological conditions, but especially concussions and brain injuries and other things, um, when I learned what hyperbaric does uh, and the science behind, uh, the, the physiology behind, you know, how it works, it was a no-brainer to bring that into my practice because uh, increasing oxygen content uh, allows the brain to make more energy. And so then when we can make more energy, we can heal at a much faster rate. But that, what's really cool about hyperbaric and the thing that I get so excited and passionate about is that was just the tip of the iceberg of what hyperbaric does. What we started to learn is that not only does it increase the oxygen concentration in your bloodstream, but it is also increasing uh, healthy gene expression. So at the cellular genetic DNA level, it's actually coding and active, flipping on healthy genes that uh, code or and signal for growth and repair. So these, these signals, which are really hormones and these different things, but um, they actually increase and tell other parts of our body uh, in different regions to make more blood vessels or to make more neuronal, neuronal connections. Uh, and that's super important because that is what gives us a, the long-term benefit of hyperbaric. So it's not just the increased oxygen that you get a ton of benefit for while you're in the chamber and a little while afterwards, but these genetic changes that are long-term. And we can actually, by doing longer protocols of hyperbaric, we can actually shift our genes to more likely go down this path. So they turn on these healthy genes, but they also suppress unhealthy genes. And this is what's really important, is these unhealthy genes that stimulate inflammation and cell death. So one of the main tenets of how hyperbaric works is that it helps decrease inflammation. Not just short term, because it does that too acutely, it actually decreases our blood vessel size so we don't have as much leakage from injured blood vessels. Like if we hit our head and we have some damage to our blood vessels, they leak into the environment around them, creating infl causing inflammation and, and inflammatory reactions and all these things that are really not advantageous to healing uh, in, in our just function in general. But they actually promote constriction, and so they reduce it acutely, but we also promote a suppression of chronic neuroinflammation, or chronic inflammation throughout the entire body. Whether you've been affected by Lyme, or you have MS, or any of these things, inflammation is a major contributor to a lot of people's problems. So that was a wonderful tenant uh, once I learned that, because dealing with brain injuries, it doesn't matter. As sooner you can get somebody in is, is great, but it's the chronic neuroinflammation that creates a lot of things for people like brain fog and all kinds of uh, symptoms of uh, light, sens light sensitivity, sound sensitivity, all these things that are related to uh, these disruptions in brain function. So, and then we said, okay, that's really great, but there are more that it does. One of the things it does additionally is it releases stem cells exponentially. These stem cells are super important for healing. You need these stem cells, they're like blank cells that can turn into anything you want, like a wild card in a card game that can, you know, it's just, you can, you can play any card and all of a sudden you have a great hand. And that's what, that's what these uh, stem cells do. And so they're very important for repair and regeneration in our system. And this, the hyperbaric chamber allows us to release these exponentially. And so we get really quick, uh, faster healing in that sense. In this process, because of the pressure that's occurring um, in basically pushing that oxygen into our plasma, or the fluid of our blood, we're also getting stuff pushing in and out of our tissue. And what that means is that means we're able to get waste and toxins and all these things, basically detoxification. So it actually creates detoxification in a manner that you can't get any other way because some of these... Um, you know, you take supplements and these types of things, they're not pushing things in and out of tissue. They're just, you know, maybe binding something that's already in the blood. But the key is getting it to the blood and the lymphatic system to drain. 
and to get it excreted out of your system. So detoxification is a really important part of healing because all this inflammation that you have, you have to get it out too, right? So we, we love that and when it comes to healing anything. Uh, one of the really, really important things that's sometimes hard to relate to people or for people to understand is the hyperbarics impact on your autonomic nervous system. This is something that a lot of people, a term a lot of people haven't heard, but it's a part of your nervous system, your brain, uh, that controls uh, where blood flow goes when you want it to. So basically, we only have so much blood in our system. Uh, you know, if I stood up, it would go up to mid-thigh, basically, right? Five to five and a half liters. We can't pump blood everywhere we need it at all times. So we have to have this system that regulates where blood flow goes really quickly. And so what hyperbaric does is hyperbaric helps to activate and strengthen this system, this autonomic nervous system that allows us to get more blood flow and oxygen circulation and nutrients to our brain really quickly and any, everywhere in our body. But I've kind of been talking about concussions here a little bit more, but as an example, but it does it for anything. So the more blood flow we can get to these regions, um, especially of injury, that d oftentimes are impacted and not maybe circulating as well as we'd like, um, this autonomic nervous system becomes strengthened. And, and so that, that is uh, an effect of the pressure. So in our system, we have these little things called baroreceptors that tell us uh, basically when we stood up or if we have low blood pressure to pump more blood flow to our head because it, it's a very important thing to have blood flow and oxygen to our brain as we know. So in order to um, make that system really efficient, it's like an automatic process. So the autonomic nervous system, another word for autonomic is automatic. This should be happening without you thinking about it. It's unconscious. What happens is after head injuries and other types of injuries, sometimes post viral or after surgeries or whatever might happen, your system doesn't do that as well. And so hyperbaric comes in and helps retrain that system to do that automatically again once again, for really long-term, uh, important, you know, long-range healing. And so that you come out without having to, you know, you don't have to go in there to get the benefit. It stays once it's made. A couple of the other tenants that are really important um, is, uh, you know, once again, that oxygen increase uh, in that, that genetic and that stem cell aspects, but it, it, that genetic activation actually grows new blood vessels. So what happens is you get that signal from the increased pressure and increased oxygen that tells your uh, blood vessels to grow in these injured areas. So it actually creates signals that activate vascular endothelial growth factor that is what builds new blood vessels. So really, really important. You know, you, you, it stimulates osteoblast production. So you're going to build stronger and healthier bone. You're stimulating... Um, all kinds of aspects of cartilage repair and joint repair that create uh, more uh, appropriate tensile strength and, and more uh, mobility in these types of things. Uh, so there is more to this picture um, that we could talk about, but the essence of hyperbaric is that it has a lot of different impacts on the body that is beyond just the high oxygen. It really affects, and that's the, that's the goal that I have for people to understand in, in the education aspect of it, is the, uh, the fact that the high oxygen is really important for healing, but there are so many other benefits to it. And that's really, that with this is how we're really getting this conglomerate, um, really long-term improvement from hyperbaric. So it becomes really fun uh, when you understand all the things that are going on underneath the surface physiologically, when you're in there and you're saying, okay, I've been here for an hour or 90 minutes or whatever it might be, but there's all these things happening in, in, within your body, essentially tearing down old cities and buildings and rebuilding new ones, right, that inside our bodies all the time that are, you know, making us healthier and, and function better.